my husband had Alzheimer's. Kay Hassel says she was frightened when the diagnosis came down. I took care of him by myself for a couple of years and then realized I couldn't do it anymore. I needed to talk to somebody that understood what I was going through. That's where the Alzheimer's support group came in. It's for caregivers, for people that are taking care of um, significant others, parents um, that have Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's is a disease that affects more than six million Americans. You lose your, your loved one twice. You lose them when they lose their memory of you and then you lose them when they pass away. The group gives people like Hassel a chance to talk about things like this. One of the hardest things for me during the whole process was when the first time my husband looked at me and didn't know who I was. Support one another. It's very helpful to know that there's people there that understand what you're going through. And share stories. The one thing that I vowed to do the day that my husband was diagnosed was that I was going to make him laugh every day. And I did. Every day I did something. Sometimes it was really stupid. You know, I'd do a silly dance or something just to make him laugh. A group like this is all the more important in times like today when the pandemic has us feeling further apart than ever before. When someone that you know has Alzheimer's, it's a very isolating disease, so you don't know how to tell people or talk to people and kind of people kind of drift away. So this is a place where they can come and be safe and talk if they want or not talk, but just be around a group of people that are very familiar with the disease. The group hopes to support everyone facing this tragic condition. What they're going through isn't unusual or rare that it happens and it's going to happen. In Rhinelander, Lily Zoller, Newswatch 12.